let's talk about uplifting fragrances. Fragrances that make you happy. Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing fine and that you are safe. I decided yesterday to film this video, but it was raining and so ugly outside and I ended up doing a mysterious dark uh, fragrances video, but today it's even, I don't know, <laughs> it's still raining and the weather is horrible, but I decided uh, I am going to do this video. I am not going to wait anymore because I made my selection of perfumes that are uplifting and why not? Um, looking at the weather outside, I need a um, happy uh, scent that will boost uh, my mood, <laughs> right? So let's begin with my selection for a happy um, scents that make you, you know, um, that change your mood, that change your mood when the weather is like this. Let's start with an old uh, love of mine. Uh, it is an old bottle. I am planning, I'm planning to buy a new one, but unfortunately it doesn't have such great performance, at least on me. This is uh, Chanel Chance au Tendre. I really like this fragrance. It is a musky floral, okay? <laughs> some fruits, some grapefruit, some quince, uh, fresh more springtime than um, summertime uh, appropriate because it has a lot of musk in the base and uh, musk sometimes um, it doesn't wear so good on my skin uh, during uh, very warm weather but um, maybe on your skin it is different however it is an eau de toilette the performance is not great i tried the eau de parfum version for chance au tendre but it doesn't work for me. I still prefer this one. And um, I'm not going to really include this in my list today, but I am going to mention Omnia uh, Coral. This is a great, I sprayed it before <laughs> on my hand, uplifting uh, scent uh, that resembles uh, Chance au Tendre. The, this is not a dupe for Chance au Tendre. Let's just make this clear. But it has it gives me the same vibe, okay? It is musky, floral, fruity, fresh. It has a more um, aquatic note um, here. Mm, actually, my husband said uh, before I told him the name that it is called Omnia Coral, he told me, no, I smell like the beach, the sand, the saltiness. Okay, interesting. A fresh, uh, beautiful, floral, fruity, musky perfume. I'm not including uh, this perfume in my list because um, I still have to test it some more. I'm not sure about the performance and um, at the end, um, I still prefer Jean Sautandre for now. So let's just put him uh, aside. Um, actually, I was kind of contemplating um, decluttering uh, the perfume. So it doesn't make sense, you know, to put it in my list for now. Uh, Trussardi Donna is another choice. Not a choice because, to be perfectly honest, uh, I really, really selected only the perfumes. Uh, so what you are going to see are only the perfumes that are really uplifting my mood. Okay, uh, I have a lot of freshies, a lot of summertime perfumes and um, almost all of the fresh summertime uh, fragrances that I have um, are happy scents, okay? <laughs> Usually summertime uh, perfumes are happy scents, but they don't have that effect, okay, on me. I have just a few that for sure, and I've been testing this, when I'm wearing them, I feel better. I feel refreshed. I feel more happy, uh, happier, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so um, yes, a very strict selection today. So I have Tursardi Donna. This is a beautiful floral citrusy perfume. So it smells of white florals, but the overall feeling is like you have a beautiful lemony ice cream with white florals, if it makes sense. 
or a dessert because it is sweet, not very sweet because it has a lot of lemon in here. So a very beautiful lemony dessert or cream, you know, they use in uh, patisserie. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it is a nice option when you are not that much into uh, citruses, like me. For example, I have a problem even with light blue, especially the intense version. I don't like it very much. It doesn't stay for long on my skin. Oh, this performs better. It is not a bomb. And okay, usually this type of scents are not great performers, <laughs> but they are beautiful for um, the time that they, they last on your skin. So like five, six hours on my skin. I have to test it more uh, during summer months, but beautiful citrusy floral. So an alternative for those of you that um, are not enjoying uh, strictly citrusy perfumes. And okay, in the same... Uh, zone, <laughs> the same category, at least to my nose, is this old beauty. This is Clinique Happy. Um, it smells like the 90s, okay? It gets a lot of um, mixed feelings and even hate uh, of Fragrantica because, okay, uh, it might seem a little bit boring for some of you. Uh, it is a 90s perfume. For me, so this is my first perfume ever. <laughs> so for sure it makes me happy. Uh, not just the name because it's the, it is called uh, Clinique Happy, but the feeling that I get when I'm wearing it. It has citruses, it has um, uh, some other fruits, florals. It's a freshy, but also with a patchouli mask base. It used to be very long lasting on my skin. <laughs> I was like 18 years old. I wear it all day long uh, and with two sprays on my neck and that was it. Now, not that much. Anyway, it is a very recent buy. So I had some old bottles, but like some, uh, one, uh, like one of you mentioned uh, in uh, one of my uh, videos, um, it kind of turned with time. So my old bottles, I can't use them anymore. And I decided, you know, to invest in a small 30 milliliter bottle of this and to see if I can bring back those happy times. <laughs> Beautiful scent, happy. Uh, to give it a try, it's very cheap online, like 20, 25 euros for 30 milliliters. It makes sense sometimes, you know, to just buy something if you really like it and uh, you want to uplift your mood. Another citrusy, patchouli, this is how I would um, categorize it, but um, a classic uh, already, Chanel Chance Eau de Toilette, the first one. So the first one, if I'm not mistaken, was the Eau du Parfum Chanel Chance, and then we had the Eau de Toilette and then all uh, the other flankers. This is very uplifting. You already can see that I went through a 50 milliliter bottle, but I bought it like two years back. I have a lot of perfume, so but during summer time, I am really, really using uh, this perfume. It uplifts my mood. Uh, it stays a um, long time on my skin, so this has very good performance, maybe due to the patchouli. Okay, patchouli usually gives more strength to perfumes. It has some pineapple note, that I really, really like. And um, yes, yes, uplifting. Uh, floral, but more citrusy and fruity and with the patchouli. Um, try it if you can. Uh, maybe you are already familiar with it. Uh, would make a nice option uh, to uplift your mood. And a classic uh, option. For sure, uh, it is a very elegant perfume. Other one that uh, I I have to confess it uplifts my mood is the um, tropical uh, florals, okay, tropical fruity florals or tropical good amount even florals. And I have two choices for this category that are quite similar, but not 100%. And um, I do have... Uh, 
one that I prefer. <laughs> so we have here Terracotta Le Parfum and Datura Noir by Serge Le Ton. Let's get first into Terracotta. Uh, the unboxing of Terracotta was one of my, my first uh, videos on YouTube and I was very nervous back then. I still like it. I was almost uh, tempted to declutter this one, unfortunately, because it is a happy scent, yes. It uplifts my mood, yes. Beautiful white florist, tiare flowers with vanilla, coconut, very tropical, you know, you smell vacations in the bottle, <laughs> holidays in the bottle, but it is very hard to wear during summer months because the florals are very heavy in this one. So when I put it on my skin, I really like to smell the cap, you know, but when I try to wear it, it leans very heavy on me. The white florals, the vanilla, sweet, heavy, dense, for four hours. So the first two, uh, a lot um, of white florals, then it is more subdued. And um, at four, five hours mark, I can't feel it anymore. So maybe if I put my nose to my skin, you know, I can still feel some vanilla there, and but it is not projecting anymore. So it is a heavy scent, <laughs> but it disappears very quickly. Okay, it is an eau de toilette. It gives me uh, good vibes, but I don't find the occasion to wear it. During springtime, it smells too summery. <laughs> During summer months, it smells too heavy on me. But I love the bottle and I love the scent. Yes, I'm hesitating about this one. <coughs> And then we have Datura Noir. And if you read the notes on paper, they are in the same category vibe. Definitely a tropical smell, more gourmand leaning this time. So a lot of people are saying they smell a lot of tuberose in this. I can't say I do. I do smell some tuberose, but it is a very creamy and fluffy tuberose, not the tuberose that we are used to. And then you have coconut and you have almonds and a lot of other scents. So this is a very fluffy scent, more airy than terracotta. I can definitely see myself wearing this during summer months. Uh, it wears closer to the skin in the first uh, couple of hours than terracotta and it kind of disappears at four or five hour marks. marks. So, Almost the same performance, but this one is softer. This is like a sorbet <laughs> smell, and that is like um, creamy ice cream smell. If you, I don't know, in my head, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to compare the two. So this is more airy and refreshing, and that one is still sweet, still summery, but denser and it might give you headaches. I kind of prefer uh, Datura Noir, but okay, I'm not willing for now to declutter Terracotta. Uh, I am fond of that perfume. Then we have tuberose, tuberose fruity florals, but tuberose can be, um, at least to my nose, an uplifting uh, flower. You know, you, when you smell it, it makes me think of summer, uh, stay in a garden and feeling free and happy and carefree. So we have here an expensive alternative. This is Amouage Honor, the white one with the yellow logo and cap. Yellow, golden, sorry, golden <laughs> cap. This smells fruity, fresh with tuberose and white florals. At least to my nose, this is not a heavy tuberose. This is an airy tuberose, but it has some weight. I think in the base they put also some incense. So the base is more oriental interesting, but not very oriental. But the top notes, the middle notes are very 
uplifting it has some rhubarb so it is a little bit tart but not too tart and um, it is a beautiful combination uh, wedding appropriate some might say definitely uh, spring and summer appropriate and when i'm wearing it and every time that i smell it from uh, from the bottle it just puts a smile on my face very good and good performance it lasts on my skin a long a long time and it projects for the first few hours another uh, tuberose a garden a beautiful garden airy tuberose that i quite enjoy i have a small problem with it and i'm gonna tell you what it is soon this is gucci bloom I, uh, the original the audio parfum if i'm not mistaken uh, yes, the original one, the first that came out, because you have all the flankers now. Um, this is your garden tuberose. So imagine you stay in a garden during a summer night, evening, and you have uh, tuberose, this next to you, and you have, you get wafts of those uh, tuberose uh, brought to you by a very soft wind. I know somebody that used to wear this and it was at my workplace. So this is the only, only downside, not uh, that I don't like the person, I quite enjoy <laughs> the person that, uh, she, she's very nice, uh, the person that uh, used to wear this, but uh, it makes me think a little bit of work. And when you smell something uplifting, you kind of want not think of working. I, I don't know. At your workplace, you know. Anyway, it is beautiful. It lasts five, six hours on my skin and it projects a lot. Especially, no, it projects, okay? It kind of disappears after six hours, but for, for the first four, even five hours, it projects. It becomes even airier and not soft. Uh, this can give you some, uh, if you are not into white florals and you get headaches from white florals, this can give you headaches. Be uh, warned. <laughs> so uh, I got uh, a nasty headache from this. Even if I love the scent, it can be a little too much if you overspray and I kind of did that. So be careful. But if you want, uh, want to smell a garden tuberose, okay, do try this. Maybe it smells a little bit synthetic, okay? It is not a niche perfume, it is just Gucci, but it is good. I realized while, while doing my uh, selection, uh, at first I uh, didn't pick any, I haven't picked any um, rose perfume because I kind of like dark roses, you know, roses with patchouli, with incense and those type of scents. And I stay away of very fresh rose scents. They are not my cup of tea, <laughs> okay? But I do have one and I remember the perfume that I recently bought and that I quite enjoyed uh, during very sunny days and it gave me such a good mood. And this is Magnolia Rosé. So the main star uh, here, it, in my, to my nose, it is more the magnolia, but definitely you have a fresh dewy rose, but with some magnolia, some sweetness, some suede. <laughs> so it is not just a fresh rose. Modern take, a modern take uh, on the fresh rose that I quite enjoy. I'm not a fan of Delina and all the Delina wannabes <laughs> on the market. So I think Delina would have made a great choice, you know, for this uh, selection, for those of you that like it, because it is a happy scent. Let's face it, it is a happy scent. On my skin, it turns very sour. This one doesn't. This one turns musky in the base. So you have a lot of musk in here. So you have to like the mask, but if you like musky perfumes, this one smells delicious. Delicious sweet, but not too sweet. Definitely uplifting. And then we get to uh, the best. <laughs> not the best, but uh, let's say my... Uh, the ones that I like the most. Love, actually. We have here Lipstick Rose by Frederic Mal. 
Actually, it was done, uh, the nose is Ralf Schweiger. Schweiger. I hope I'm saying it right. Ralf Schweiger. And uh, it is part of the collection, Frederick Mal. So, you have rose. This is a different type of rose, not fresh. You have makeup y rose, <laughs> if it makes sense. Sweet, sweet. Yes, gorgeous. This is the best smelling lipstick, you know, a luxury lipstick, very waxy, waxy and ambery and sweet, but with some rose. Yes, the smell of makeup, but the, as it used to be, you know, the luxury lipsticks, the smell of Chanel lipstick and so on, with um, some other powdery notes and rose. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, but not sickly sweet, um, a mood lifter, <laughs> an uplifting perfume for sure. And this one is like almost eternal on my skin. I don't know what they put in here, but it stays for a long time, it projects very well. I'm in love with it. I'm only unhappy <laughs> a little bit that I saved. Um, a little in the in the bottle, you know, I did a split for it and I should have kept more, <laughs> but that's it. And another recent um, entry in my collection. Uh, I used to have it, not anymore, and now I have it again. And this one, so I'm so happy that I have still found it in the old bottle and at a good price uh, on a Facebook group. This is Ansolance Eau de Toilette. So I had the Eau de Parfum as well, it was a tester bottle, and I might be able to swap it again and to get it back in my collection, I'm not sure, but I prefer the Eau de Toilette. This one, why do I prefer it? Because I smell more the violets, and this is why I wanted this perfume. So um, in the um, shop, when I tested the perfume, I was not sure if I preferred the Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette. I first bought the Eau de Parfum and on me the Eau de Parfum is not as... The violet note is not that... Um, I can't feel it. <laughs> I just can't feel it, you know. Um, it is very ambery, sweet, creamy, nice and has an, uh, a violet feeling but it is not very noticeable. The violet note is, it is not noticeable on my skin. Uh, it is very creamy, beautiful, but um, I wanted the violets. And here you have delicious um, sugar violets. Uh, it smells... When you read the notes, you know, you are thinking, hmm, I'm going to smell outdated. You know, violet, violets violet perfumes, you think like 19th century or something, end of 19th century or something like this, it does kind of take you there, but this is done in a very modern way. First of all, this is like beast mode violets, you know, it is not a soft mademoiselle that is wearing a very soft violet perfume. This is like when you want to that everybody in the room, you know, you want everybody to smell your perfume, you are uh, using this. This is powered up violets. Violets that became the main star, not just, you know, second characters, <laughs> if it makes sense. Uh, beautiful, great performance, projects very well, and uh, it stays a long time on my skin. And such a happy feeling. This is a playful perfume, very playful, yes, playful, well projecting, well, very good uh, longevity. Um, I understand and I test it, I have a small um, decant of the new, not the new, the B bottle version and um, I also understood from some uh, friends that um, are using the newest version that they resemble quite a lot and maybe it has lost some of its longevity, but not the character. So please try it in shops. I'm not uh, very familiar with the newest version, the one in the Mitsuko style bottle. But yes, one of my, if not my most uplifting perfume. And at the end, 
an honorable mention because it is not really a perfume for us, but uh, this is the smell that gets me the happiest, <laughs> if possible. So I really love the Clotin. I'm going to put a picture because I forgot uh, the shower gel uh, in the bathroom. Um, of my baby's shower uh, gel, okay, from Clotin Bebe. Uh, and uh, I love the smell of that shower gel. Uh, how uh, my um, kids' uh, hair smell, you know, after you washed it with uh, the gel. And I found online Chloran Petit Brun. Petit, Petit Brun. I hope I am saying it right. This is an uh, eau parfumé for babies. Okay, so a scented water. This is not a perfume or it doesn't contain alco alcohol. Let's do it like other YouTubers. <laughs> so this smells like the shower gel. I kind of prefer still the smell of the shower gel because it gets on my uh, baby's uh, hair and so on. And it smells for a longer period of time. But this one, if you spray it on clothes, for example, it stays longer. And yes, I'm very happy to have this also in my collection or should I say my kids collection. I hope you like this video and uh, you have found some suggestions, you know, for you uh, to try in stores or just buy, you know, one little perfume that makes you happy. Uh, please let me know what are the perfumes that uplift uh, your mood. <laughs> if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. Stay safe. Bye bye.